So I'm looking for that chic boho top knot, you know, with the little pieces hanging down. My problem is I'll try it, right? It's flopping all over the place. It's it's like a croissant. It's it's not it's not chic. <laughs> or a so croissant. <laughs> it's really interesting to see these kind of different shapes that reminisce <laughs> bread. You know, you get those fancy bread shapes, and it just never really maintains the same kind of consistency. Yes. It was like off to the side or in the yes. middle. But I really wanted to just, you know, I kind of use social media in a way just to show real women. This is how we do it. This is right. how you can kind of look it. This is how you can achieve it yourself. You and I think people seem to respond nicely to that. So we're just going to walk the hair up. Um, when you're doing a top knot, guys, key little thing I always like to do is to follow the cheekbones. Follow ah. the cheekbones gives you a nice little snatch. Gotcha. You know, and snatch. What if you have a Charlie Brown head like me and you might not have been born with cheekbones? <laughs> <laughs> what if you can't find the cheekbones? Keep pulling. Just, just keep <laughs> Just keep pulling. Just keep pulling. Good answer. <laughs> just keep going. They're in there. They're in there somewhere. <laughs> All right, we're going to tie it with a regular elastic. Uh, guys, like I said, this is a fell-proof way. So gonna, I want to make sure you guys follow. All we're going to do is tie it into a knot. We can do that, right? Like a pair of shoelaces. So tie it into a knot, and then we're going to bring it forward and tie it into a second knot. Shut up. It's as simple as this, guys. And then we're going to bring it around. And look, you get this cute little kind of Oh, my God, knot. it looks like a rolled-up brain. <laughs> a little pin, just pin it into place. Maybe we'll put two in. Um, and then once you've done that, just look in the mirror. You just want to pull it out to kind of personalize it. You can make it look thicker. Um, if you want a tight little top knot, you can. And then, you know, kind of pull out a few little soft bits, a little bit of hairspray, and you should be ready to go. Angina, mm -hmm. this beautiful lady right here, she is um, hoping to achieve what type of hairstyle? So I am trying to get a ponytail that doesn't look boring. I usually only do a ponytail when I go to the gym, so I want it to look a little bit more put together and elegant because I always wear my hair down, and I'm kind of sick of it. Well, I wish I had her hair to wear down because <laughs> it looks pretty good to me, but I'm sure you have some fabulous ideas here. Absolutely. And we're going to basically, I can help you out awesome. with your little uh, challenge. It's actually really interesting because, you know, everyone's into TikTok and thing these days. Uh -huh. And I've been recently on it. And everyone said, you know, you should give a little bit to people, show people how to do some hairstyles. So we've literally just been doing simple things like buns, ponytails. And it's kind of really what women want. They're like, how do I put my hair up and make it look good? Quick. You know, right. it's simple stuff. Not like crazy Super Bowl J-Lo hair. It's actually just like, how do I do a top knot and it actually look good? Because it's right. always, you know, something like, uh, you know, looks kind of rem memorous is, I don't know, like a donut or, a, or, or like a croissant or, you know, interesting shapes. This is about keeping it real just so people at home can get an idea of, you know, how to create basic ponytail. So, you know, you've got your ponytail that goes to the gym, which is kind of regular. I'm going right. to show you how to do a double ponytail where effectively you just split the hair into two. So we're just going to basically, you know, there's no combs or anything. I'm just going to pull your hair back like you would normally whip it into a ponytail and you want to tie it relatively loose so it doesn't have to be perfect guys it's not about creating a perfectly even base it can be a little bit kind of natural but this is how I do ponytails for like a red carpet so basically you've got your first ponytail in so you guys can see I'm just going to clip it out of the way I'm then going to just put a second ponytail in so I'm just going to use my hands everyone following me so far everyone feel yes. like they could do this okay good I don't want to lose anyone. Two ponytails. I want to keep this relatively simple. Once that's in, all we're going to do is take the top ponytail and we're going to twist it inside out. So you just open it out. Remember, guys, I said keep it kind of loose. You're just going to flip it through itself. So once you get that through, you get this nice little kind of, you know, detail. But then you're going to grab the bottom ponytail on top and you're going to pull it through. And this is how you get that really kind of beautiful... I guess it's kind of Shut almost like a waterfall up. ponytail. So you guys it's can see it a little bit of personal. It's a waterfall ponytail! <laughs> can you guys see that? 